Hey guys, welcome to Scrapping Random Bits and Pieces Part 2. So to start with, we'll just scrap out all this cable, cut all the plugs and terminals and everything off, and then um, go and move on to other little bits and pieces, stripping various bits and pieces like the yokes on the um, CRT televisions, a couple of copper motors. So let's make a start. These ones here, I don't worry about because I've only got two little gold bits in there, connecting points rather than the, the usual four or five. So you just go straight into the scrap. And same with these AV cables. See what I mean? See how there's like uh, seven, I think. Yeah, seven. And they just go into the gold pile. For further processing later on. So I'll speed this bit up so that it's not um, taking up too much crucial video time. So now on to this part, pinning these. So here, I tend to, these ones because they're not as, where is it, as thick around the pin, earth pin here on, as they are on these ones, I tend to just pull it to the side. Sometimes it pulls the copper out with it, other times it, it just does this, but not to worry. See what I mean? Pretty much just give it a little bit of a twist and then chop that off there and I can go to my copper mount pile and I just carry on chopping the rest off Sometimes, as you saw, sometimes it works almost successfully, other times, not so much. And these have transformers and everything in them, but I don't take them apart anymore. As, as you can see in my previous video, I have quite a bit of um, stuff to get through, so I don't really worry anymore. That, however, will just show you. Be a nice transformer then judging from the size of the plastic housing and the weight's quite notable transform it for you guys and I can just go into the motors pile and I'll take that all apart later we'll carry on with these quickly So 
see as we go into the mixed um, pile of circuit boards and that sort of thing. Scrap guard takes it and puts it all into one big container anyway. So, not to worry. See these ones just chop because they're a lot better molded into the plastic than say the likes of these. But these you can't I'll show you now because they're betterly molded into the plastic. There again, because I'm recording it, of course it's going to come out a lot easier. Murphy's Law and all. But yeah, see it won't work with these ones. It's brass ones. And it does, doing this, it does take a hole on your on your wrist eventually. That's why we do a very small amount of plugs. So I have quite a bit of melting to do in terms of copper. I'll show you towards the end of the video of all the copper that I have to melt. So pretty much this, this bucket, as you can see here, this in this bucket. And this bucket from the um, washing machine Smart Motors. At least Smart Motors, as I was saying, as I've done in my previous video. So what I've decided to do, I had an epiphany the other day, I thought, because I did the same with these um, washing machine pump motors. I've just taken a chisel and I just pretty much cut them all off here and then flip it over and stick a screwdriver in as I'll show you in a part of this video as well and you just pull them out and yes they are copper I have checked and do the same with these ones just hit all the way along here all the way around and then stick a screwdriver in and just peel them off but that's pretty much all that's in there it's just your transformers some of them have um, inductors like that, which are good for um, copper. So I'll just pretty much just take those transformers off and take this inductor off here. Nice bits of copper out of it. Just got to find the start of the tape, wrap, unwrap it all, and then just crack it with the um, flush covers. Sometimes it breaks off perfectly, sometimes it doesn't, and then it just makes a heck of a mess and a headache for anybody trying to unwrap the copper. But it didn't work too bad for me that time. Just there we go. Put that in there. And, but because of the shape of these ones, I won't worry too much about the copper. I'll just rip them off and put them into the transformers bucket. Unless, of course, I snap them off like that, then I will quickly just pull them off. In fact, I should just do that now then.
See, I won't worry about the little bit of plastic wrapped around there. It will melt off pretty quick, pretty quickly. There we go. This I won't worry about. I'll just throw straight into the transformers pile. So last but not least, this little copper inductor here. Again, just break it down and pull them, pull it all up. And if you get it just right, it won't give you any grief, like so. Hey guys, here we have the yokes out of the CRT televisions. I've taken liberty of taking off any unnecessary plastics and that sort of thing just to make the process a little bit faster. I've also done the scratch test because in the past the yokes that I have taken apart have unbeknown to me until taking it to the scrapyard have been aluminium. So to save face from now on I no longer don't scratch them I do scratch them just to check and so let's make a make a start. So the way I do these is just taking off these clips here with little collets if you like. And then what you do is you force your screwdriver into the middle. And take your hammer. Just enough to split the um, ferromagnetic iron, and then it comes apart nicely. And then, essentially, all you have to do from that part on is put your screwdriver in, and hopefully, it will split apart. done and if you like there's little bits of steel that are amalgamated into the plastic or into the um, glue that they use and you can take off if you like for a little extra value but being it's steel it would be very much value and then just take off the tape if you can like this um, scotch tape almost looking stuff and it doesn't really matter if it doesn't um, as I say because I'll be mounting it down it'll just burn away so that's that done and now these I just take a, a nice sharp pair of cutters and just cut up the middle of each each strand and just essentially whatever hasn't been cut when you try to fold it up will leave a snap against the edge of the blade the edge of the cutter here and then you just peel it all off like so and make this go into the sometimes this will peel off if you're lucky other times it'll just stay hard and stay on and make this go in the copper bin same again for this sometimes I, I do like to peel it off just to make it a little less contaminated
and I do recommend trying to get them all up at the same point so that you know none of the likes of what's happened here happens to you guys because it can be quite tedious trying to pick up all little minute pieces of copper especially if you've got very thick gloves on right so those two can go into the steel and the rest the rest I'll take apart and um, we'll speed it up So we've all finished taking all that stuff apart. So what I'll do now just as a, um, for those who are curious, we'll just stick them all in the scale and see how much we got from those five yolks after they've been demolished. So there you have it guys, so after about roughly 15 minutes worth of stripping all those yolks down we have about, well exactly according to scales, 1.1 1 
kgs or 11.54 grams and the copper being around the $10 mark still um, so there's 10 bucks in 15 minutes which isn't too bad so next up and then there's this little the, the, you know couple of grams off if you like for the um, likes of the, the resin that they used but they still weren't way enough to affect the weight at all so here we have the washing machine pump motors guys this is what this looks like stripped out so I thought I'd keep one to show you guys what it looks like complete and how I go about stripping it so to start with you pretty much just hold the opposite end so this is your water pump side and then you hold the fan bit and um, unscrew the paddle I would assume that would the pump head and then <coughs> grab a pair of pliers and insert it into here and just leverage it up to take the fan off of it and then once that's done you can unclip this plastic piece and then you're left with all the connecting terminals and just take another pair of blunt side or oh, sorry flash cutters and then I just proceed to prime them off and take off the temperature sensor for the motor and then we pretty much just clean it up a little bit chuck that into this thread and this can go into brass because it is brass after all and then proceed to pull the rest of the brass terminals out and now what we do is we grab a number seven socket and we proceed to take the strap holding the um, the motor in place take the bolts out like so and once those bolts are loose the whole rotor will come out as you can see there take that off take this brush strap out and then that's a nice bronze piece of aluminium and that'll pop out like so we'll do the same again on the side take out the thrust washer take out the little brass piece and then that's just rubbish and that's steel and that goes this ironing alley now this Parts. Oh, there's this last little bit, this earthing terminal here, and then number six. And then we pretty much just undo that the same way. And then when you just to a certain point you can do it by hand that's brass that's steel that goes back in there now these little bits here that are colored in the same color as the um, laminations they're copper so I take my flush cutters and just break the weld off where they join them at the top and then I fold it over and then I use the body of the laminations to pry it out sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't they don't snap clean like that um, sometimes the flush cutters don't grip it quite right, like now. Um, you just want to use the screwdriver or flat blade screwdriver to just start it, and then once you can get your cutters back in there, you just use the same thing to pull it open. Right now, essentially, all I did to do that was pretty much just take a file, that's a file, take a chisel and pretty much just hammer into the thing along 
little animations as I'll do pretty much off screen quickly. And just like that, it's all nice open. That's done, they get a little bit. So there's seven of these motors, two, four, six, seven. And we'll see how much copper we can get out of seven of these washing machine pump motors. So the scales all set up, all, all zeroed. Just be careful when we're doing this method because Copper tends to have a spring-like nature to it, and as you can see, it will spring out all over the place if it's not um, controlled. So once it's cut open, you pretty much take your screwdriver with black lead, and on the other side, use it to lever the copper up just enough to get a finger, a couple of fingers in there, and then you can just grab the rest with your fingers and hopefully it all comes up if you've cut it yeah cut it it shouldn't be an issue again just watch out for the springiness of the copper if that doesn't work guys just use your flat blade um, flash cutters just to get some leverage in there and then pry it all off so this next lot, the other six, I'll do quickly and I'll speed it up and then we'll see what it's at at the end of it. You might not even have to, you'll be able to see it the whole time. So I'll quickly do all this, but I'll speed this, this part up. And quickly, that's what happens if the flush cutters don't grip it the first time. It slips and then the jaws brown the top and you can't grip it anymore. And it just becomes a nightmare. So as I said, on both sides, to try and remove. So, I'll carry on quickly with this. So there you go guys, it's all done and dusted, all stripped out. Unfortunately I wasn't fast enough and the scales weren't sensitive enough to sense that there was copper being added so it went into standby mode. But I took the liberty of weighing the little plastic um, dish that it's in before I started. And as you can see down there on the scale, let's take the glare away for you, 860 grams. So all together we're looking at 700 grams worth of copper so if we had uh, three or four more these pump motors would probably get a good kilogram out of it. it took me 15 minutes to do and um, couple that with the the copper we got out of the, the CRT yokes the other day we're looking at about 18 1800 grams sorry yeah 1800 grams so about 1k8 kgs so we're looking at about a dollar value probably about 15 to 18 dollars worth of, of copper in, in half an hour which isn't bad at all I apologize for this video being late um, I usually do upload on a Thursday or Friday but recently I haven't been feeling very well I've had headaches random headaches every couple of days and not just you know minor headaches like quite you know like you have to go lie down in a dark room type headaches and possibly even migraines to be honest um, 
So that's why this video is late. Uh, I do apologize, so please forgive me. Thank you all for joining me. I hope this video was um, interesting. Um, I, I certainly didn't expect to get that amount of copper out of the yolks that I did. The 1.8, sorry, the 1.1 kgs worth of copper out of the yolks. Um, six yolks, six yolks or seven yolks? I think there was seven yolks in the end, my mistake. And we had 1.1 kg, whereas a seven washing machine pump motors, there was only, you know, 860 minus 160, so 700 grams. But then again, we did have twice the amount of copper in the yolks as we did in the washing machine pump motors. So that probably did contribute to, you know, quite a bit more as well. Almost double, not quite, but almost. So thank you all for joining me. Look after yourselves, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers.